If it weren't for Journey Mode in Terraria 1.4, I might consider this hands down the best possible mod to get. But with the addition of Journey Mode and all that that brings, I can't necessarily say that that's the case for this. This is the Cheat Sheet mod, and if you look down, there's this little tab at the bottom of the screen. All you have to do is click it, and op, up rather pop your options. And there's a whole bunch, as you can see. So let's just go through them in sequence. This is a super useful mod. It's still probably in the top three mods I would recommend you try, and certainly it makes this list. So the far left is an item browser. And pretty straightforward. What I really like about this is that it includes mod items. So if you're loading other mods up, you can spawn these items. You right click to get a single one. You left click to get an entire stack. And of course, there's also the ability to search for what you want. And so if you want, I don't know, a bed. Let's go to the all items. Let's say you want a bed. You tap in bed and you can have your pick. So it's all right there. Super easy, you don't need to hunt down for the ingredients for a particular recipe. I really like that aspect. What else can you do? Well, you can sort by weapons, tools, armor, etc. And so you can get pretty much anything that's in the game from this item browser. Very useful. What else does this have? Well, it has a lot of other stuff too, and this is particularly useful when you want to test out boss fights. So let's fly up to this little arena that I've created up here and I'll show you the NPC browser. So if we go up here, nice little easy arena to fight bosses in, you can fight pretty much anything you want. You can spawn meteor heads, you can spawn, oh I don't know, the blue slime. Look at all these slimes and you can spawn obviously dozens of these things. But you can also, if you go to the bosses tab or search for the bosses, you can spawn bosses. Let's just do an easy one, King Slime. And you can see the utility of this if you want to test out a build, see if it works or not. Very useful, pretty straightforward. So you can spawn anything and yeah, you can spawn town NPCs. And so if you want a specific NPC like Truffle, you can spawn him. So really the options are very broad, very useful. That's the NPC browser. Well, what else do we have? We've got the recipe browser. If you're curious, oh, I don't know how to make a cursed campfire, just click on it. It'll show you what you need. Let's search for something elaborate, uh, like, hmm, what should we do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe some advanced armor, like uh, chlorophyte armor. So let's do the chlorophyte helmet. Not only does it tell you the items you need, it tells you really what you need to craft them on, in this case, a mithril anvil. So very useful if you're in the dark about what exactly you need. It means you won't have to alt-tab out to get to the Terraria wiki to figure out the recipes. So very useful. What else? Well, the mod extension cheats. The author recommends going to the official thread. Now, I'll include a link to that in the video description. If you're curious about how to add cheat mods to this, apparently you can do so. As you might have noticed, I haven't done so, but the option is apparently there. And then the clear menu, you can clear dropped items. If there's a bunch of stuff on the ground, you see some coins and, and gel over here. If you just want to get rid of it, you don't want to pick it up, they're gone. Just clear dropped items. You can, of course, clear more specific things like buffs, clear debuffs, clear projectiles. So that's a nice little option there. But moving along, this one I really like. And let's go back to base for this one, just to demonstrate. So, um, the paintbrush tools. Let's start with the eyedropper. What this does is if you just select, I'll just, for simplicity's sake, I'll select dirt blocks. You can then use that almost like a, a brush. And then if you go down to the brush option, you can then plant these wherever you want. In this case, let's try putting them down here. Now you have dirt there. Now, this is just basic. I really don't want to mess up my, my world here by cloning buildings, but you can imagine if you're doing a fairly elaborate build that has components that you can duplicate to really add to the effect, whether it's housing 
or just uh, structural elements for design you could use this to duplicate I've used it up here if we go back to this kind of arena area as you might have imagined I did use it up here to um, to create these little platforms with all the torches to make sure that they're evenly spaced so it's a way to get some kind of uniformity to your design you can also use it to make a skyway a high skyway to get from point A to point B um, might be a little moot with what I'm going to show you in a minute but you can imagine if you're into building the options are pretty limitless for this feature it's a very good feature and there's some other options here um, you can flip the orientation of what you've cloned and that sort of thing so lots of uh, lots of good little details here that you can work with you really have to kind of explore it just to kind of get a feel for it and I want to say you have the ability to save certain paint brushes like this one uh, to memory to use later if you have a particularly good design you want to save so it's really good for builders so that's the paint tools option this one down here with the, the demon heart I guess it is adds accessory slots this does not affect the visuals of the game but if we go and click on extra accessory slots you can see them getting added there and I'll just take them away you left click to add right click to remove so I don't want any extra slots there so I'll take those away but if you're really into accessories this is one way to do it and then this one's kinda neat let's say you're surrounded by loot after say a goblin invasion there's this vacuum items option here and it just brings everything to you now if you've run out of room what you vacuum to you just stays at your feet so it's not lost it just stays at your feet it's a way to kinda clear up the clutter if you don't want to delete it under the clear menu you can use this giant magnet here for vacuuming items to you so very useful NPC butcherer if you're sick and tired of hostile NPCs hassling you you just want to get rid of them click that and it butchers every hostile NPC on screen if you want to get rid of everyone including your town folk you can click this middle option and if you only want to get rid of your town folk you click this one and it gets rid of them so that's the option you have under the skull for the butcherer option this one I really like show quick waypoints uh, obviously Terraria 1.4 adds pylons for quick movement around the world uh, but this is good too so if you want to go to the dungeon you go to the dungeon back to spawn go down to the underworld the temple now you do need a lizard altar for that if you've removed it it won't work apparently and then just random so this is the similar effect to the potion you can use and it's a good way to just fly around the world and find somewhere new in the underworld really so let's go back to spawn that is very useful as you might imagine you can change spawn rate down here with the blue candle you can right click to reduce it and I want to say yeah one quarter of the normal rate is the lowest rate you can't turn it off entirely unfortunately but the maximum is 30 times the spawn rate 30 times that's a lot so if we just go off screen a little bit I'll show you or rather the game will show you just how much stuff will spawn and my Stardust Dragon's gonna be rather busy now here they come so yeah <laughs> you can imagine how crazy things could get in a particular event so with that so I'm gonna set this back to normal I don't want my Stardust Dragon to work overtime let's move along the minion slot boost this is useful let's uh yeah it's max at 20 so I'll, I'll show you just how nuts this can get by expanding my Stardust Dragon his utility kind of maxes out after a while but that's pretty crazy isn't it I don't even know what he can do at this point other than imitate one of these uh, what are they called wyverns that float up in the sky the, the tough ones anyway uh, yeah you can see that that is a particularly strange addition a very weird and fun addition of course and if you were to try a different spawn say the UFO minions you'd have a whole bunch of little UFOs flying around so if you're really into the whole summoning aspect of the game maybe this is the tool for you but let's get back down to normal back down to just one there we go and then we go over here I'm gonna pass that by for a minute God mode pretty simple there either enable it or disable it the choice is yours um, 
but let's maybe use the random button to show you the last thing I want to show you. All right, here in the dark. So there's a tool here with a little torch. I guess that's a, what, a water torch or an ice torch? Light hack. So if we turn this on, you can see the light hack definitely works. And it has different degrees. So 100%, it's actually pretty ugly, isn't it? I'd say that's quite ugly. It's what Terraria looks like without any kind of subtle lighting effects. It's not very nice. So you see without it and with it on max. So maybe this is one you you like, maybe you don't like it, maybe you turn it on briefly. I don't know, it's up to you really, but if you're big into exploration and you want a bit of a cheat, you don't like having the hassle of placing torches everywhere, I'd say this is probably the one for you, but maybe consider only turning it up to 25% because it gets pretty ugly once you start to crank this thing up. So I'm gonna disable this and return to spawn point. So that's the cheat sheet mod. There's just one last thing here, configure available tools. So you can turn them on or off on the menu. So let's say there's only one you're really interested in. I suppose you could turn all the other ones off. I just leave them on. It's pretty easy to navigate through them. You figure out the icons rather quickly. So again, that's the cheat sheet mod, whether you're a builder, whether you're into exploration, uh, testing out combat builds, you name it. There's something here for you. So it's, as I said, with journey mode, journey mode, of course, adds a lot of these features, but it doesn't necessarily add all of them or in the same way. So I think even with Terraria 1.4, this is going to remain a pretty good mod. So that's the cheat sheet mod. I highly recommend it. I'm, I don't think I'll ever uninstall it. I like it that much. And I really like the fact you can, you can kind of hide it here at the bottom just by moving the tab up and down. So it's really not intrusive at all if you don't like looking at it while it's there. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next mod video.